Welcome to my channel. The slides that are rolling by are an indication of some of the things that I cover on a regular basis in my videos. Once you have watched the video, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button and leave a small comment. It's a really a big help to the channel. Uh, the YouTube logarithm, when it sees that, promotes the channel more and will be more viewers. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you for watching. Well, it's February 21st, and I'm just finishing up the last few seeds of my uh, onions going in. The variety is that Rosa de Milano, uh, red, heart shaped, supposedly good storage onion. When I say heart shaped, I I don't mean the Valentine's Day type heart, I mean a, an anatomical heart, like a, a human heart or an animal's heart or whatever. They, the photograph of them did look very much like a heart. This is an 84 cell tray, and I didn't count how many seeds I put in. I put every one that I had anyway. There's two or three in some and probably just one in others. So. We'll have to wait and see what actually germinates. They're on the uh, propagating mat, the seed starting heat mat. It was under the hydroponic setup, but I moved that off of it and put the onions on it a short time ago. So hopefully before I finish this video we'll have at least some germination can't see all of what I'm doing here. I guess I had little holes in each cell and now I'm closing them over and I think I closed them all over. I've got five or six of these plastic domes and I'm quite sure there was one that fit this thing but I can't find it. So this is the one that comes the closest to doing it and it doesn't cover the whole thing but I think it'll hold in some of the moisture. I'm sure once the heat pad heats that up, it will uh, steam up a bit. But I'll keep an eye on to make sure I keep them well watered. And I'll bring you back should they ever happen to <laughs> germinate. I've had the uh, uh, LED lights shut off while I was working on it, so I'll turn those back on. And before the end of the video, I'll show you what's happening with the other things that I'm growing under the LED lights. Well, it's now March 2nd, and I'm having a look at my somewhat overgrown, cracky hydroponic system here. There's less than a quarter of the nutrients left, and I had thought about mixing more nutrients, and then the more I look at it, these things are really getting overgrown so I guess I'll be harvesting it and there isn't really time to uh, set it up again before I need to uh, use the space to start seedlings for the garden. So I'm going to take a head of lettuce this morning. Some of the lower leaves were starting to yellow because of lack of light down where they are. But it looks really quite nice. I'll enjoy that in a salad. Set it aside here somewhere. And I hadn't noticed until last evening that the arugula has bolted and has got flowers on it, if you can see that. So I'm going to take one of the arugula plants I don't know if I'll use them both in a salad or use the arugula some other way. Arugula are also called rocket uh, food. Most people in the UK and Europe, I think, refer to it as rocket. A very peppery green. I may do that in a, a stir fry or something with dinner, but I'll have a nice salad with the, with the lettuce. And I think that's almost the end of this system. Uh, this head back here even looks like it might be a bit damaged. I may take that today too, I guess, and the other arugula. The parsley, um, still kind of gangly, leaning all over the place, but it has got some nice leaves. I can 
I can leave that for a bit, I guess, but it will devastate the rest of it. it certainly has grown well. Um, I think the best I've ever done with one of them. It's, I'm not certain this might be my second time for a cracking system. Second or first, one or the other, but it's, uh, I don't know if the LED lights entered into the success of it or not, but it certainly has, has grown well. Well, before I get this video up, I'll be showing you the progress with the onions and the radish experiment and my um, arbol chili peppers, which are growing slowly, but I'll add that later in the week before I upload the video. Well, a fresh salad, and at least the green part, is out of my own in-house garden here. Probably about two-thirds lettuce and one-third arugula, a rocket, whatever you want to call it. My sister, for Christmas, one of my Christmas gifts was this wonderful bottle of balsamic vinegar. The real stuff from Modena in Italy. Thick and syrupy, really good. I made a vinaigrette, just a small amount of a simple vinaigrette with uh, almost probably about a third balsamic vinegar, uh, two thirds extra virgin olive oil, a bit of Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, and I put a little bit of sugar in. just to see what my fresh greens taste like. I can get that piece now. That's not going to stay on a fork, is it? But, well, maybe I got some of it, I guess. The uh, Parmesan. I see what they mean. The rocket is a bit peppery, but not like not as strong as like mustard greens or whatever. Quite nice actually. Mm. Homemade salad. Homegrown salad. Probably enough left to do this two or three more times, I guess. Use it up before it spoils. Well, as I said in the last little clip there, I will show you what everything that's growing in the light garden before I upload this at the end of the week. Well, after the harvest <laughs> of the arugula and the lettuce, I decided to put the uh, cracky hydroponics set up down under the full spectrum uh, fluorescent lights until I need to change those over. I've already bought the uh, LED light that will replace that later on when I'm growing seedlings for the garden in the greenhouse. But I thought with the nutrients that are left uh, and just growing those two parsley plants I should be able to get some fresh parsley to use from time to time. I left the root systems and uh, stalks of the uh, arugula and lettuce in place mainly because the roots down below in the nutrients are a tangled mess. <laughs> I figured removing them would damage the parsley plants. Uh, might also be interesting to see if anything grows back. Some of it still looks quite green. If it'll send up some more leaves or not, I don't know. But anyway, I'll be leaving that down there for well, a month and a half or so probably before I'll actually need the space. Well, as I'm filming these last few clips, it's March 4th, and this is my um, red Italian onions um, that I planted at the beginning of the uh, of this video. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's 84 cells in that tray, and I currently have around 60 that have, have germinated. And evidently some of the seeds got planted a little deeper than others, because I still see new ones that have come up this morning. So might get close to 
80 or 90 percent germination before it's over with. But they're looking good and then growing very well under the LED lights. Um, not quite ready for their first haircut yet, but they grow so fast it won't be long now. And these are my four chili plants, chili de arbo, seeds that I saved from last year's chili plant. And this really demonstrates why you start chili plants so early. They're very slow to get started. I put two seeds in each pot and had 100% germination. And I just clipped off one and, and then left one in each pot. Strange how some of them, maybe they didn't all come up the same day, I guess. But this one here is just barely starting to get its second leaves. And this has got a pretty good set of true new leaves. But... They won't have to go out into the greenhouse until late May, so there's still lots of time for them to grow. Maybe even will have to be transplanted into larger pots before then. Well, to close this video off, this is the experiment that I've been doing with the two radish plants. One growing under the full spectrum fluorescent and the other one growing under the LED light system that I've just started using. There isn't really a great difference. This is the one that's been growing under the LED, and it is a bit larger as the plant goes. It's a, All of the leaves on it are, are a bit larger. And this is the one that's been growing under the full-spectrum fluorescence. And it has started to lose its first leaves, the seed leaves or cotyledons, whatever you want to call them. Which is normal, that happens, but it hasn't started to happen with the LED. However, the purpose of growing a radish is to get a radish. And if you can see, there's a decent sized radish forming under that one. And the same thing here, actually this one, the radish might even be a little bit smaller under the LED light. So I don't think there's any great advantage as far as growth rate, at least not with, uh, not with radishes. But it certainly has other advantages. Um, the uh, use of less, less electricity. Um, they're much cheaper to run, but also you can use them so much higher up above the the plants with the fluorescence the, the lights has to be practically down at the top of the of the plants or you get very long leggy ones but it doesn't seem to be that way at all with the LED this one has been has had the lights oh, 12 to 14 inches at different times above it and uh, still grew beautifully. I really like the LED lights is what I'm saying and I'm going to continue to use them but uh, as far as growth rate different use for the for the lights but I don't see a tremendous amount of of difference in the in the growth rate of, of radishes at least. Well that will conclude this little video. Thank you very much for watching.